Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplays where I play games stylishly. Today, we have a challenge. Can I beat God of War 2 without taking damage? That's right, that means all the bosses, the Pegasus sections, the Phoenix Chamber, and many amongst the other encounters in the game without taking a single hit. And if I do, I have to restart from the last checkpoint. The rules are very simple. Play like it's Dark Souls and try to play campy all the game is what I would say if this wasn't a stylish ass channel. That's right, we don't play it safe around here. In this channel we play with combos and we play stylishly. That's what God of War is about. Oh, oh. Oh, oh I mean, yeah. Yeah, some... Some place, you know, you have to... You, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna be having a counter on the top right part of the screen on how many times I died. That's why I'm gonna count getting hit as deaths in this run. Let's not waste anyone's time. Let's start the challenge. I'm gonna be playing on the hard difficulty. I know this might come as a disappointment to you guys, but listen. On the very hard difficulty, enemies are bullet sponges. Or, in this case, blades sponges. But you get the point. I just thought hard would fit better for the audience watching and my sanity. Especially when considering some of the checkpoints that you're gonna see in this run. Anyways, let's hop into it. So we're minding our own business destroying a city for fun. And this guy has the audacity to come in and stop me. He takes all my sexual energy and gives it to the big statue from the distance. I shrink and blame Athena for all that. Athena! And here we are at our first encounter and it was easy. Even though Brian was spectating and was trying to make things hard. I was playing carefully and got past the first encounter, then these guys who were holding the door realized they could not stand my powerful square square triangle combo, so they cowered out. I opened the gate and juggled them a little bit with my powerful combo, then Brian fisted the building so hard, I pissed myself for a second. I then proceeded to find Jimmy scared shitless in the corner, so I went to ease him up, but he kept calling me some bad slurs, so I just gave him the butterfly 9000 attack. I was so pissed that I started combo bowing urns and other luggage and was opening chests that I didn't need aggressively, climbed the ladder aggressively and missed the balcony because I was filled with rage. How could he... How could he not see the good in me? And I decided to vent that out by looking at this beautiful scenery to them being suddenly attacked by Brian. But I stood my ground against him. The pervert was throwing humans at me, but I avoided his weird kinks and I showed him all my love and affection by throwing myself at him. I mean, I'm sure he loved it, right? He needed some time alone and I needed some time alone and I was going to proceed to then stop because I heard a very loud noise behind me. I went to check and it turns out it was a PS4 running God of War 2018. I was stoned. I went in and poured some water on the PS4 and it stopped making noise and I was celebrating. I then proceeded to Spider-Man my way across this gap and I ran into some soldiers but I avoided them using my quick God of War parkour skills. I climbed and Brian was back for more. He had some very weird foot fetishes going around but I denied his approach. He was so horny I could smell it. I tried to climb the wall in front and the mad lad was humping the wall. I was shocked and was trying to fix the wall by hitting it but nothing worked. So I climbed up and talked to Brian with my own language and the freak was choking me hardcore but, <laughs> but I freed myself and took his hand with me. I opened this gate and was wandering around the building and the team of Santa Monica were trying to ruin my challenge of not getting hit. I was trying to negotiate but they thought I was looking for God of War Ragnarok leaks. So they kept on shooting me, and I just went on. I was then confronted by all my side chicks, but I killed them all from a distance. I was not having any of that. And the archers in the room were a problem. I took my time to ensure I don't get hit, and I took them out one at a time. I proceeded and could hear a party going on ahead. I wanted to join the party, but they kept attacking me. They wanted to kick me out. But that day, peace was never an option, and I had a date with Brian to settle. I was having my time stabbing them all, but then from behind, Dante interfered. You look like you just had your ass handed to you. I stood there shocked as I was thinking, what did I do wrong? Why did he hit me like that? Even his own team was hitting him. How could he? So that adds one to our hit encounter. I restarted and guess where the checkpoint was. I went back and decided to combo someone just to cope with the pain. I beat these guys again and went back and the first thing I did was getting revenge on Dante. Three stabs is all it took. I was not having it and they pissed the wrong guy. I took all of them out and got on this elevator. I was doing math 360s to meet Brian and there he was stalking me. But then for some reason he started screaming and breaking stuff and he ran away. I went down and his father offered me help. I need your help Zeus. Aid me now. What I do now. Aid me now. Now. 
And Brian's father was so nice, he dropped a blade from god knows where just to help me. He must be such a nice person. I proceeded here and climbed this place and got hit after I rolled into this guy's DMs. I went back again, this time I declared war and this guy took a bullet for me. So I approached the archers and I made them suffer. I will make you suffer! For killing their own comrades because honor amongst pussies. I made my way to this party here, took them all out, and I took some very careful steps to get across this bridge. And then I jump scared this peacemaker. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. And I proceeded to gog gog 9000 everyone in the room. I opened the gate and was going to get to Zeus' help, but Brian was having none of that. Anyways, I did this boss dirty by standing in one spot and jumping to attack him. That's how he got down and I took the blade of a limp basket from the ground. He was weakened and I decided to help him. I saw the beauty in Brian. Even if he was hideous from the outside, he must look gorgeous from the inside. So I decided to go in and check. God, I was right. I played around with his Evolver for a bit, did a chiropractic adjustment, and he started crying, so I went outside and realized he was exploding from happiness. I jumped down and was giving quite a show to the audience, and then Brian stopped me. Tonight the music seems so loud I wish that we could lose this crowd Maybe it's better this way We'd hurt each other on the things we want to say We could have been so good together We could have lived this dance forever But now who's gonna dance with me? Please stay I then realized he died, and that was his last high five. So I started spitting some hard beatbox, got up, Brian's father approached me, and oh he was pissed. He offered slavery, but I was like, no. And we started going at it, now here's where we failed the challenge guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. No! In here you're forced to die, and you will get hit as Zeus has free movement and you don't. So I let him beat me here and he pinned me down and tried to stab me but I wasn't even resisting. I lost Brian. He was all I had. Okay Zeus, any time now please? The audience are waiting for a show. We should give them a show. That's the spirit! So I let him kill me and I died and got sent to hell. But after two minutes, Brian appeared in front of me and he told me to get up and to get my revenge against his father. And I was like, but he's your father. And he responded with, he was your father too. I was both shocked and disgusted, so I killed Brian again, and I was too angry to die at that point. I got out, talked to Atreus, told him to feed us by the time I get back, and then my steed arrived. I'm gonna call you Cory. So we went on a journey, and I loved my steed. Cory was so arrogant at the start, and I got angry and screamed, You defy the god of war! And everything was fine then. I got through this whole section without getting hit, and then a new challenger approached me and challenged me for a race. So I started chasing Leroy in this section and he hit me here and I had to restart. On my second try I beat it, but you get here no matter what you do, you cannot avoid this, so I'm not gonna add anything to the fail counter. Then a harpy hit me, so I restarted everything and this time I took it safely by grabbing them all. Then we approached Thanos and he blew all his stinky breath on us, but I did the helicopter move to avoid it. Helicopter, helicopter. And I decided not to kill anyone. Thanos took that personally. How could you attack my harpy? And trapped Cory, and I had to rescue him. I got through some more harpies and enemies and I reached this encounter where I dunguried my way through this minotaur. Then there was a really fun swing that was created for me and I kept on playing with it like I'm talking for hours but come on we gotta go. We reached this encounter and I got hit. I tried my best to negate the damage but I couldn't win. I restarted and this time I played it safe. I stood behind this fort and they destroyed it themselves and I went to destroy the other tower and killed all of them easily. Did some more parkour and got to this poor man who had a weird kink where he liked getting tortured and tied down for some reason. So I served him, we combo at our way through some more enemies and here we reached a similar swing to the first one, only this time it rewarded me for doing it. So I decided to do it again to see what I get and... 
I moved on and I reached an encounter with some Gorgas and I got hit quite a lot here. I even had the temptation to skip the encounter but I was no weakling. I powered my way through them through some expert Dark Soulsing and combo matting and I reached Thanos where I got hit with a harpy. Oh, bad for a drop of blood. I got back and went through it all and I got this bow but one of these guys attacked my personality. I reset and I got through all of that, escaped the place with zero scratches. Anyways, I got back to Apollo and I punished this man. Hey bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet bro, watch your jet! He liked it and gave me the Rage of the Titans. I was already freezing in this place. This made me feel a lot better. I got hit in here twice but then I restarted and got past cause I played carefully this time. Went through, comboed some more enemies and got back to this beautiful swing. But it was no time for this, Cory was waiting for me. I went back to Cory and I saved him! He was so happy to be saved! This asshole had his hand on him the entire time. And I flew off and I know what you guys are thinking right now when you look at my health. You guys probably think I cheated here and I got hit and I went on but no! No! See, even I restarted in here thinking I did something wrong, but turns out you take a teeny bit of damage here, right before this cutscene starts for some reason. Objection! Uh, correction, correction to pass Zesty, it actually happens the moment you get on the Pegasus, as you can see in this clip. It's completely unavoidable and I tried everything but I kept getting hit. But that's not a problem. You know what is a problem? Oh my god, like can we talk about like this dipshit of a section? The second Cory sequence is much harder than the first one. I restarted so many times here. I was starting to feel down and I was going to quit. I mean, can you believe it? Me and Cory went through so much and now we're constantly being hated by our surroundings. Curse of it! This one time I got this close and it was just these two guys left but... I failed. I was considering calling it a day to go make a top 5 or something, but then what? Life is pointless! Until I went back this one last time and here's how the battle royale went. So the sequence starts with these guys trying to shoot you. I got past it by going from one end of the screen to another with some evading involved. Then we got these harpies surrounding us but it was easy, we eliminated all of them. Then these two approached us and what I did was constantly hitting this guy next to me while I was moving to find empty space so that I can ram myself to the guy ahead of us. I kept repeating this until they were finally down. And now here's where the hard part starts. Two guys will approach us and me and Cory have to fight both of them off with the same strategy from before but this time we're also getting shot by waves of these birds trying to attack us. I still don't know how I got past this part. Was trying my best to not get hit, my heart was literally pumping the entire time and finally me and Cory succeeded. I felt so good but it was not over. Leroy was back for another race but this time he wanted to fight too. So we fight here and he hits me, I restart and beat him but then we raced, he hit me again with his remains that shouldn't have hit me. I restarted and had to do the fight all over again and we fought and reached the chase sequence again and again he hit me. I realized I had to be in the spot I want to be before he shoots his stuff. So I went back and I did everything perfectly and here he smacks Cory so hard that me and Cory get separated. Cory! gone huh how could I let this happen how could I be so ignorant Corey
and that landed me in the temple of lock keys. Combo some enemies and dogs carefully, solve the puzzle, watch the cutscene, and here we reach this Cerberus. Oh, and by the way, I forgot. The Cory sections, you know, before the Leroy fight, I died 12 times there. Thanks. Here we reach this Cerberus. It wasn't anything that special, but he hit me and I had to restart. This checkpoint was good, except every time I had to reset, I would reset here where I had to take this chest and go through the animation where my health increases and then go back to fight him. And I say every time because I got hit quite a lot of times in this encounter. The fight was easy, it was mainly me being careless. Zesty, you just said you died a lot in here. What did you mean by that? Well, watch. That's right, that's what being careless gets you. Snoop Dogg killed me. Snoop Dogg, of all people. And when I restarted, guess what? You're back here. I was going hammers and I was losing my ish. Damn you boy, how could this happen to me? How could you do this to me? And I went back and died again. And again, this time I got my revenge on Snoop Dogg and went through. This guy only attacked the moment I stopped blocking. Went back, killed him, died here, came back, killed them. Then in these Sirens encounter, I did not die because I'm a pro gamer. And I was quickly Dark Soulsing my way to the Steeds of Time to fight the merchant from Resident Evil 4. Welcome! First attempt went good. I even got him to his second phase. But then I got hit here. For the record, this is my second favorite boss fight in the game. Anyways, I resided and got hit instantly because I was kind of mad that the checkpoint got you back to the start of the fight. Restart again and I was getting close and me and the merchant both abused this minotaur to the point he wished he would die. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. I shot the merchant with some more arrows and barely dodged whatever he just threw at me. I got him down and I was having trouble opening a door and this fine gentleman helped me open it simply out of the kindness of his heart. He then went to sleep Come back at a time. When I proceeded and got Kronos Rage, literally the best thing in this run, and used the Steeds to close the gap between Destiny's Atrium and the Temple of Lachesis. I went down here and died once in this encounter, then I went back and beat all of them. Then Jimmy tried to stop me for some reason, kicked his ass, dog sold my way back to the temple, solved the puzzle, broke this roadblock, went down, fought cowardly, proceeded. Got hit twice against the penisless cyclops, but third time's a charm, Mr. Fart decides to hit me. Fourth attempt at this encounter, and I absolutely punished these fools. Like I legit cleaned the room. Then I solved the Kanye West puzzle and proceeded to the Bog of the Forgotten. What are you doing in my swamp? Where Shrek interrupts my TED talk with Guile. So he wipes the floor with me and then tells me he will have head for some reason. I will have head. <laughs> this man Elden rings his way to me but I fight him off and drop him from his horse and then proceed to do an attitude adjustment to him and let me tell you, I beat this guy in the first attempt. Oh come on you guys, you guys are making me blush, come on stop, stop, I said stop! Baba boy. We took his hammer and we reached the temple of what's her face? We went to get a key and here's where I have to explain some stuff. What you're seeing right now is me punishing this fool, but the important thing here is this. Now you might think, hey Zesty, you just got hit. Well, I did. This attack is unblockable. But you know what else? This attack does no damage. It's not even a hit. They just open you up for their next attack that does damage. That's the one that would get me to reset, otherwise we're fine. That's why you see me not resetting. But then I still got hit there, so I reset. And then again, because I'm stupid. And then again, because these guys run to infinity and beyond. But now on this attempt, I eat one of them off to the lava somehow, and I started juggling these fools. I felt so good. That gave me a huge confidence boost. This one last fool remained, and I basically tortured this poor little viking. Sorry, poor little viking. You're clapped. Anyways, we proceed and this whole section I did not die until this guy hit us here. It's really the little things in life. Got back, killed him, killed a bunch more, killed a boss, went inside, and I met Morgan. Morgan was really nice, he asked me if I could put him inside of this meat grinder 10 Zeus's away. So I was going to but I died fighting this Gorgon. But it's fine, I went back and I granted his wish for him. What a guy! I then opened a the gate to see my man Mike being eaten by this Cerberus. The Cerberus spits some super hot flames and gets me to restart. This guy's busting game be weak as fuck! Look. So I kill him on the second try and we get the golden fleece. I kindly opened the gate 
dance with the Gorgons and move on to get the Temple of What's Her Face. Do everything professionally and I did not die until I reached Arthur here and for some reason I decided to hug him resorting in him choke slamming my ass. I got back and killed him, went through some puzzles and reached this guy called Richard. I wanted to read him a story but What's Her Face attacked me out of nowhere, shattering both Richard and my heart. So I got to fighting her and I was fueled with rage. First my sanity, then losing Cory, and now Richard? Enough is enough. I started punishing the serpent and got her to her last breath and right then and there she hits me, causing me to restart. I fought her the second time and won the battle, but at what cost? I lost Richard, but I'll bring him back with the Dragon Balls later on, so no problemento. Anyways, I went through this puzzle and we got into an encounter with the main character of the game. Seriously, these guys deserve their own spin-off game. So we got through that encounter without dying, got through this elevator without dying, and we reached The Rock. Shut up, bitch! This guy killed me four times and I was losing it, but I killed him later on and we got through some Ghost Riders and through Arthur again, until I reached the Hall of Atropos, where I got hit, aka died died three times. I died thrice and beat it on the fourth attempt barely because I was about to die here and this one that I'm doing gurring all over the place was about to kill me even after I killed it. What the hell? This place is cursed man, swear to god. I then proceeded further and got through a lot of encounters without dying because I'm just that good and I even got these extra lovely red orbs baby and I finally reached Leon. Now Leon has no bitches and he could not open the stupid gate that Kratos could deadlift on his worst day. He stupidly decides it's a good idea to fight us while being invisible and while he's stepping on the water. And it worked. He killed me here right after I slapped the invisibility out of him and I stood there feeling like a monk. He killed me 4 times and this started to get frustrating but I beat him on the 5th try. But he didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Am I right? Anyways, I beat the Kanye puzzle again and proceeded to then get violated by these weaklings. Restarted and I had traced my way through them because I didn't take any chances. Met this asshole, took the spear now because I decided I need it now instead of after the chase sequence with Leroy. We then reached the crossing of the lowlands, did Spider-Man's job better than him, proceeded and got violated twice in this encounter. But I beat it on the third try but it wasn't the end of it because I died in the next encounter after it and when you die there, the checkpoint puts you in right before the first encounter. So I had to be so careful doing this. This main character hit me and I died so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. I died 4 times here. But it's whatever, then we move on and we meet Bryce Hall who went insane trying to make it across. He lends us his wings and goes on a vacation and we are here tickling Atlas snows. We make it through all of this until we reach the rock. On fire this time. Shut up bitch! I like this boss fight a lot and I'm really good at it. Damn! Baba boy. Oh fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Oh well I died four times against him and the hit encounter is looking great. <laughs> Come on guys, I'm really good at these games. It's just that I've never been careful while playing them. Does that make any sense? I mean, I still try to not get hit when playing off screen and stuff. It's just that I play fast and mess around a lot. I'm just not used to being careful. Anyways, we went a long way not getting hit and playing aggressively spamming magic to finally make it here where I'm just too lazy to solve this stupidly slow puzzle. Okay, okay, chill, chill. I'm not gonna be abusing this skip over the game and stuff. Just this once. And nothing is lost here like this literally does not cost anything this just saves time we make it to atlas and he tells us about the war between minecraft fans and roblox fans and he gives us a new magic but guess what we don't need it bitch i purposely used chronos rage just to piss him off and he was not having it he kicked me out and i made my way to the great chasm and here we have an encounter that i get clapped in two times anyways i beat it and i expected to die 50 times here but zero deaths baby <laughs> We make it to the auditorium of Lachesis and this is the section where you have to protect this translator. I thought I might die like 50 billion times, but no, I only died once. I beat all the enemies in there and then this poor soul was sitting in the corner and he reminded me of someone. Wait a minute, Jimmy, is this you? Is this Jimmy's reincarnation? I started questioning myself there. How? How can I make sure if it's him or not? I went up to him to talk and negotiate, but he proceeded to call me some bad slurs. Again. And right then I knew. I went for the hardest home run in the history of home runs and I killed Jimmy. Again. Then I proceeded further and I realized, hmm, I could use some exercise. 
I went through some more encounters without getting hit and guess what stopped me? Spikes! Underwater! I wanted to choke right then and there. I started getting furious on these urns, straight up punishing them. I then solved this puzzle and I had to ascend because my city needs me. So I ascended with style, dancing in the air, and we face a troublesome encounter. In this encounter you enter and there are two Cerberuses that proceed to make spawns. Then later on another Cerberus joins in and two main characters. I died 5 times in this encounter, it was kinda hard, but then I developed my strategy against these guys. So I went in for the 6th time and here's how all this went. The moment these guys spawned the two mini Cerberus, I used two Chronos Rage and focus on one of the Cerbies. I put my aim on him and attack him with the 3 triangle attack until he dies. Then another Serbi spawns and I spam these two with the Kronos Rage and 3 triangles again. Good thing is they take a long time to produce mini Serbis. Anyways this time Kronos Rage affects both same with the 3 triangle attack and two main characters spawn with another Serbi and from here I just had to be careful. Use the remaining magic on them while also attacking with the blades and it was done. We reached another translator who tried to kill himself but I smacked some sense into him. There's more to life than this. Oh fuck. We can be better. Oh fuck. Let the fear inside you, Kratos. Then the mad lad overpowered me and he started to cry for some reason. Right then and there I realized this was the latest version of Jimmy. So I gave him a proper welcome and just then I was approached by Walmart's secret. She told me I could warm my balls through this gate so I believed her and honest to god she was right. My skirt was about to show the atmosphere down there but I was shy and flew away because you perverts do not deserve to see Kratos ass. Then I went on and recklessly violated these cyclopses. Like for real I was clapping cheeks after cheeks. Then I reached this part where this roof was about to fall on me and I did it perfectly until I reached the end and right there Arnold interferes and it cost me my life. I restarted and gave Arnold another visit, safe to say he was shocked. And to add insult to the injury, I stood there just to disrespect him. Then I left, and I accidentally found these two chests. Wow. Now we had to go through this part and I died three times here. First one I made it but died there with the enemies. <laughs> Second time I died... God knows how. Third time I couldn't even make it so for the fourth attempt, I waited for this guy to climb in a little closer. Now, you know why I did that? These guys spawn in right here as I'm killing the second guy on the rope. I waited back there so that I could get iframes from grabbing this last guy. And when I went up, I was careful this time. That's all. I climbed the wall and made it to this encounter where I died again. I got back there, punished them, opened the secret chest spot to upgrade my magic gauge fully, flew and reached the phoenix chamber. The hard part. At first you fight a couple of Arthurs here and there and then you go through a simple puzzle. I took no damage here but you know what I took? Barry's wedding jam. Anyways I proceeded and here we approach literal hell. And I'll explain why in a second but before I do that, hello there fine viewer. Hope this has been fun to you. Would you please take a second off your time to subscribe for more God of War videos. Oh. It's been a second. But Zesty, please. I don't care. It's been a second, bro. They should watch the video now. Yeah, okay, but I need them to subscribe for more. Sire, it's been a second. Okay. Okay. Back to the video. We approached hell, but worse than Hades. The only thing good about this section would be the background music. That shit slaps. Okay, so on my first attempt, I did everything cleanly. I was inexperienced, was pushing the box, magic, kick, magic, push, magic, until I got the box in front of the lever and then I decided to focus on the enemies. I pulled Arthur to the gate, kissed him goodnight, then another Arthur spawned, then there were still some harpies left as well. Anyway, second Arthur died, pulled the lever, two Arthurs spawned, and I lured them to the gate and used the same strategy. Killed one, but the other one got the best of my pure virgin soul, and I had to restart. For the second attempt, I was way better, now I'm experienced, did everything the right way, even got the chests on the side road. Everything was looking great, there is literally no way I could lose right now. I'm just gonna push this block in front of the button, grapple, the game will do its thing. Wait. Wait, is this normal? I've never seen this happen before. Anyways, let's go. Um, any time now? Hello? Game? PlayStation 2 Smash a piece? Hello? Anyone? And right then I peeked a little and I realized the fire was stopping point blank and the box was not getting pushed as it should because that's the only way to proceed.
I jumped down and wanted to check if I can redeem the box, but I died. Shocked. How could my second favorite God of War game do this to me? How could it do me so dirty? I was slowly going hollow and was about to quit right then and there as I was playing the game the whole day to get this footage. But then I was like, no, I can do this. It was just a mild inconvenience. I went in perfectly the fourth attempt and got all the chests in the room and got past it. Now to prove to you guys that I did not cheat and take the chest before the encounter, I made sure to go back to make you guys certain that I did not cheat, and the chests in the room were all either magic or red orbs chests, and then I went up and felt like I achieved something in life. I was feeling myself, I was celebrating the entire time, I abused this chest, started hitting it non-stop, I did it! Then we had this encounter that was a piece of cake and by the way I realized something, I never failed a single quick time event this whole entire run. Then we freed the phoenix but there was something fishy about it. Remember how me and Cory were separated when we were fighting Leroy and his griffin? And Cory fell but we never saw him again? Well this phoenix was still burning and I still needed another push so I got up and screamed his name. Just to see if he's actually Cory. And little to anyone's surprise. Cory! Destroy these statues, and my life is yours! Right then, Cory responded, and after all this time, I was right! This was Cory! He somehow transformed into a phoenix! I knew there was something sus about those wings. I'd recognize them everywhere. So Cory helped me, and he pushed these statues up, and the asshole wanted to play games with me. Welcome back, Cory. I went through this whole section, solved the puzzle, but this guy decided he wants to be special for once in his life. Restarted, did everything carefully this time, and I reached the stranger. Don't you know when to give up? I was going ham on him and he beat me. Restart and this time I beat him. I used him as a glider on my way down, and it turns out it was Atreus all along. I was like, how did you even get here bro? I told you to hunt, why did you become the hunted, and who haunted you? Zeus. Boy, what? Wait, you mean... Is that what you mean? Blech. Oh, hell no. Nah. Atreus? Bro? Atreus! <laughs> then, a Walmart Hydra interrupted my therapy with the sky, but I wasn't feeling it. But the Hydra was feeling it though, grabs me, chokes me, and I felt PTSD right then and there. Brian. Is that you, Brian? I will not disappoint you! And I came back with the full force of a ram. And here we fight the Walmart Hydra. I died twice in here because this boss is fun but also bullshit sometimes. We decided to both destroy the sacred place, but the Walmart Hydra couldn't stand my power and I used the bridge to literally gog guard 9000 the Walmart Hydra. The Hydra was dying from joy. And then I crossed the bridge and I got reunited with an old fella. Corey. I said hi, and one thing led to another, and I found myself on his back. He told me to put on my seatbelt, and he took me for the most glorious ride in my life. I knew it would be the last ride because my pants were on fire. Yeah, so we got to the Temple of the Fates and solved this puzzle to then approach my favorite boss in all of God of War. The Sisters of Fate. I'm so good at this boss, it's so fun and it will work wonders for this challenge. I know how to maneuver with this boss and stuff, this will be a piece of cake is what I said to then realize that this boss is the hardest roadblock I've ever ran into. Okay, so the main problem I was having at the start was that I was too aggressive, trying to play with style and fast and all the good things till we reach the heat of the universe, but I kept on dying. Then our second problem was an attack that kept on hitting me when I was in the air, sometimes even on the ground. In comes the bullshittest attack and the history of bullshit attacks. I was seriously considering quitting here. I mean where to go from here, I kept on getting hit. The attack damages you even if you block it in the air. On the ground there's at least a small window to parry, but not in the air sir. 
then there on, the strategy that I developed was to keep on playing catch with the Walmart secret. Until I finally won and when I did win, I would do a magic attack, then regain the magic with the orbs that she drops when she fails the catch game. So I basically nailed the first phase in which she's on the ground on. On the second phase where she flies came in the big problems. This attack kept on killing me. It's unblockable in the air, undodgeable in the air. The only escape from this attack was the magic, which still fails sometimes. Cause I would do Atlas Quake and the floor was lava and I would just lose from there. So Chrono's Rage was it. But the problem with Chrono's Rage was that the iframes was just short. Like you had only like maybe 10 frames of iframes. I kept on retrying and retrying until I got a run that was good thank god so let me explain when walmart seagrun starts flying she stays in her spot and shoots stuff if you're in the air but when you get on the ground she starts getting closer and that's what i didn't want so in the attempt that you're watching i was shooting her with my arrows from a distance Until I ran out of magic and got down, she started getting closer and here I played the careful game. I wasn't trying to approach her non-stop. I kept waiting for openings to attack her in. And when she would stop and be sus, I would get away because she might do the stupid weird attack that always hit me. And that way I finally won. But at what cost? In this first fight alone, I died a total of 25 times. Is this even a challenge anymore? Can this game really be beaten without taking a single bit of damage? I mean, at one point, even the game started helping me, believe it or not. Where the fight would start and Walmart Seagrun would float. This has never happened before. And it was some good help because in the air, there's much more action going on. So it was good. Short-lived, but good. Anyways, I proudly won the first fight and she called the real Sigrun into the battlefield. Huh? I mean, imagine fighting both, I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, this game, fighting both. <laughs> this game being unfair, yeah. See, I knew this game wouldn't make me fight two Sigruns. This is why I love God of War, it's fair. Famous last words! Wait, who said that? Hello? HA! Anyways, the real Sigrun raised the stakes really high and said, If I break this sword, the old you dies, resorting in you dying right now. But I was like, ha, yeah right, as if time traveling even exists. It does! Who said that again? Anyways, this fight starts and I still don't know how that didn't get parried. And here again. But then the third time's a charm and I beat Sigrun with cold blood and the sword was fine. Then I was somehow teleported back to the Walmart Sigrun. Or maybe I was never even gone. Anyways, Walmart Sigrun healed herself and I was like, okay, that's fine, let's fight again. But then I saw this. Wait, what? So I'm fighting both Sigruns? <laughs> Idiot! I lost my shit because wow, how am I gonna beat this? So this fight starts and yeah, they wiped the floor with me. You had to weaken Walmart Sigrun to slow down time and to hit the real Sigrun and to break the mirror that she popped out of. You had to do that twice. Then you would fight Walmart Sigrun alone with her new moves and if you get hit there and restart, you're back here. So at the start I was dying a lot of course because I still haven't gained control and learned stuff. Then later on I developed my strategy and it was to do this. So the fight starts and Walmart Sigrun summons real Sigrun. I would absolutely spam Walmart Sigrun with magic the moment the real Sigrun came out. That way she would be weakened and I could smack the real Sigrun and freeze her mirror. Walmart Sigrun was jealous because I wasn't giving her enough attention and decided to break the mirror where the real Sigrun was trapped in. You identify these Sigruns with a piece. She belongs to the streets. But anyways, real Sigrun comes back from the other side and here I had to kick her ass back into the mirror again. And here's where the bullshit kicks in. Again, this new attack that the Walmart Sigrun attains was all BS. I was getting hit when I was certain I wasn't. I got hit here while I was doing a magic attack. What the Sindri vomiting, Brock smurfing, Freya missling, bother feeling bullshit ass was this? Really? You're gonna hit me while I'm doing a magic attack? So I finally retried the whole thing and this time when I reached that part of the fight, I took it safe. I was camping harder than a teenager playing Call of Duty Ghost. I had all the time in the world and I kept playing catch with her, I mean, <laughs> what am I gonna lose, my dignity? <laughs> yeah. I kept playing like Hog Rider until the QTE finally popped and I did the QTE. Real Sigrun still had a grudge, Walmart Sigrun stabbed her and ended it once and for all. And I just stood there, watching them and the pleasure was immeasurable. I was celebrating on their graveyard. I hit them with the hardest looking home run in the history of home runs. I'm talking not even Tiger Woods could see that coming. 
And there I was, the audience needed an audition, so here it is. for Kratos, destroyer of Olympus R's for the ringer, the one I put you all in A stands for asshole, the one who denied my vengeance T for how your tits look, yeah they look ugly O is for Olympus, allow me to destroy it S is for the sisters that I've killed all day long Another S just because I wanted to just say my name is Kratos, and I'd like to say hello. So yeah, I was celebrating. After dying 14 times this whole phase. Guys, please don't look at the counter. I'm really sorry, but at least I'm showing progress. I mean, there can't be anything worse than these two, right? Oh my god! What the fuck is that? Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here, let me in, let me in! Oh god, what was that? Oh no, 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 uh, n no, god, what is no, no, okay, here goes, okay, 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 come on, 10 more steps. Whew. Thank you all. Let's hope we never see that again, especially up close. Anyways, here we approach this last gauntlet that the game throws at you. You guys might think, hey, this part is really hard. This idiot must have died 78 million miles on the sky times, but actually. <laughs> no. I mean, I know that's what I thought of me as well. <laughs> but I went in the first try, died, restarted to see this abomination again, wasted no time in getting out of there as soon as possible, died again, restart, and on the third try, I got it all done. And the first two attempts that I died in wasn't even all that deep. Like, I didn't fight that much or die near the end, no. It was just me slacking at the early fights. Then I went on and did the whole thing without being touched, my heart was racing, Pumping, Kratosing, and DDoSing. NordVPN would really like to know your location. God, it was exhilarating, especially near the end where you had Bruce Lee's, Big Shaws, and oversized Planktons attacking you. But I strategized by attacking them trapped on one side and me on the other. I would unleash my hardest hitting attacks on them until I reached the end where I trapped them, used all my magic, got the magic chest, used more magic, Cyclops dies, and the only one who stood there at the end was this guy. Introducing Brooks. Now he and I both know what monster I've turned into throughout this entire run, but I took it easy on him. I started toying with Brooks, but then I gave him a humble, honorable ending. And then we reached a puzzle that I solved easily and surprisingly without getting hit and we reached Brenda. Now I'm not gonna show a lot of this fight because... Okay, you really don't wanna see a lot of this fight. Not even glimpses of this fight. Just know that I died once. Capiche? Then I had to rewind time to go fight my father-in-law and here, I'ma be honest. I was the one who started the fight, he just had it coming. Then we went for a ride and I got my blade back and he went down to show me the true power of a white teen. <laughs> he came back with bigger nipples! I went in for the first attempt and I died stupidly in this easy first phase. Then I died again, stupidly, again. But on the third attempt, I got him and then he shrunk. Now it's a head to head fight to the death 101, bitch. But I died easily. This fight basically had you and Zeus going back and forth with who wields the blade of Olymp basket. And this guy had the biggest reach in 2022 by trying to grab me this hard. I kept on dying here for being reckless and the number of deaths was 8 at this point. Until I went and focused. Finally, and got him here where he hit me while being drunk. It was the point where I would be taking the sword, but he hit me on his way to the spot where the QTE occurs. Damn it. So that makes it 9, and here we are on our 10th attempt, where I instantly died twice because I was trying to finish this. But then on my 13th attempt, I went in hard, sir. Did the first phase, he took the blade, I fought back, got the blade, he fought back, Got the blade, but here's where the fight felt like it will never be over. Let's go through it, shall we? Okay, so he summons these orbs around him that damage me the moment I get close to them. And I was playing it careful. I was attacking him from mid to long range, but he wouldn't budge. I was literally fighting this dude for 5 minutes with magic and all sorts of attack. Then I realized, wait a minute, why is he giving me yellow orbs when I hit him? And then it hit me, both mentally and him literally hitting me. 
I had to restart, but I didn't instantly restart. I was like, hold on a minute, let me see what the problem is. And I tried the rage attacks and yup, all it took was two hits for his armor to go down. All this freaking time I was mindlessly hitting him, and all it took was two attacks while the rage was activated. So I restarted and got to the last part where he has the armor without getting touched, and this time it was easy as hell. That phase was over in like 30 seconds. And I took the blade back and I told him that I will never forgive him for what he did to me and Brian. I told you I would make you pay for what you did! But the mad lad wasn't having it. He went down and came back again with bigger nipples. And I tried my best to avoid them, but then... I lay down my arm, Zeus! I decided to give up here and I wanted this challenge to be over, but then my father-in-law came in and said this. I will release you from this challenge, my son, but your torment is just beginning. Did he just say my forehead is just beginning? And when someone talks shit about my forehead, their hell awaits. And I showed him whose forehead is just beginning. I said torment, but okay. No, you said forehead. Now shut up and get what's coming to you. Oh fuck. Fates are dead, a Albert's dead, a Uriel dead, a Clotho dead, a Athena dead, a Percy is dead, a You guess a dead run. I told you long ago, I didn't know you thought I was kidding. No, the sisters couldn't stop Riddle's on his rampage. He waged upon you and your brothers. Funny, cause now look at you. Being sad with your own blade, Olympus Can't run from Kratos, dog, just give up That's the easy way out And then I went back to my time now where my father-in-law is still alive in I decided I might forgive him After all, it was this Zeus who roasted my forehead And not the Zeus of this timeline Anyways, I had some unfinished business with this fat blob that I pretended I hate not long ago. And here I was, staring it down. It was time. Anyways, I rewind time even further to the time of the war between the Titans and Gods because screw my family, right? I got in and I talked to Guy about our next plan. I don't even know who you are. And to be continued. That's right, our story will continue next time on God of War 3. <sighs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I mean, right now looking at the total deaths, yeah, that's tough. But I still did it though. So if someone asked me, hey, can you beat God of War 2 without taking damage? My answer would be, yes sir, I can, I'm just shit at it. So yeah, here you go, I can beat God of War 2 without taking damage, but I'm just bad at it. Anyways, thank y'all for watching, hope you guys enjoyed every frame of this video, every song. Like, sub, share this video with your friends, I play God of War games in fun ways. It's been your Team Gamer Zesty, peace.